Hey, what's up, treasure hunters? Welcome back to another epic adventure on our channel. Today, we're diving deep into history as we explore a location where American soldiers camped nearly 80 years ago. Let's go. That's right. Armed with our trusty metal detectors, we're on a mission to uncover relics from the past. Stay tuned, because you won't believe the treasures we're about to uncover. Let's make history together. Okay guys, I was just digging all the way over there, and my friend called me over. He said he had a gas mask, and as you can see, this is the filter. And there's the gas mask itself. I'm gonna do a little live dig, as you can see there. Still a bit, uh, yeah, I don't know if you can call it a uh, nozzle or something like that. But that's very cool. He thinks he has two of them, but uh, we're gonna wait and see. Okay guys, first one is out and uh, we're trying to get the second one out because there's still one in the hole and he also got this out and I think it's some sort of tube for the for the gas mask so maybe the bag is also here but this is very cool, still with the glasses on it marked US, as you can see right over there and still with the straps and the marker so he's a lucky guy Two American gas masks, what the f These two were probably still in the bags, but they have rotten away after all this time. Most soldiers were equipped with a gas mask, but they were useless so these two American soldiers probably dumped their gas mask and put other stuff in their bags, like German war trophies. My brother just finished a small dump, as you can see, a lot of uh, rations, scans, they're totally busted. But we got some nice things. We got this bottle, it's a uh, Horlix malted milk, I have a picture of it. Found these before, the bigger versions. And we got this tube, which is really nice. It was uh, folded together, we unfolded it in the forest. It's not the best thing to do, but uh, we were just curious. And it's uh, Quacks Martins Brushless Shaving Cream from uh, Ohio. What was it? Chicago. Chicago. Some rations. We got the. Uh, oh, this one is totally burnt. This is the top of a lighter, we think. As you can see, there's some nice details. Some sort of horn, probably. Uh, with the lighting, this is for the light, it was probably attached right there. We got a ration, but in the ration was this cookie. It just totally burnt, but as you can see with the holes, it's a uh, yeah, American cookie. These were all the finds, the hole is now empty, so uh, let's continue. Here, American soldiers can be seen with cookies, about to enjoy them in a moment. Next tube is in, and it's a, a pretty big bobbersol shaving tube. Let's see if we can unfold it again. Very carefully, because normally you would do this at home. But just to show you the footage, because we got more of these tubes, we're risking it. We do this especially for you guys. See the, the edges are pretty rough, but still uh, it's in nice condition. Yeah, it's readable for modern shaving. Just turn it around. Somewhere it says uh, there USA. Printed in USA. 
Cool. We just dug out that foxhole and the soldiers had a pretty expensive uh, stove here, as you can see. It's from the sort of uh, material, don't know how to call it, but it looks expensive. It has a uh, marking, Zeus. We found some smaller things like uh, two bottles, ration cans, uh, nothing spectacular. So that's uh, sad, but we're gonna check out uh, the next one. Oh yeah, and uh, everything still works. <laughs> Here you can see the holes with the rest of the stuff. It's kind of close now. It was another stove for two stove, but this one was the, the best one. During World War II, soldiers faced harsh conditions and limited resources. To combat this, they often improvised stoves. They would take stoves from abandoned houses or create their own from crates. These stoves provided warmth and a means to cook rations in foxholes or camps. Their ingenuity exemplified their ability to adapt to adversity and make the most of what was available. As you can see, we closed the hole as it should be. Don't leave your holes open. Yeah, don't leave your holes open. <laughs> Let's continue. My brother just found the uh, an American spoon from iron. It's uh, sadly in uh, four pieces, but still is one. So uh, we're gonna take it with us, clean us, and uh, try to display it. We also are finding a lot of ration supplies. This is a lemon juice powder. Something that uh, could be delicious in the canteen. We found a surprise among the rations just now. A genuine American butter box. It's incredible to think about the history behind it and the soldiers who might have used it. The butter box is made of some kind of plastic, so it didn't give a signal with the metal detector. We were lucky to find it among the rations. Okay guys, we just found our next dump. Uh, I already dug a few years ago here. Didn't finish it, so we opened up the hole again. We got some stuff out, like these bottles. We got a uh, barbersaw tube, another one. Some glass artillery pieces, some jars. And now, the, now we found something that we wanted to find for a very long time. And here it is, let's show it. Toothbrush, toothbrush, yeah. It's an American one. As you can see, it's uh, melted. Right yeah, it's melted. But here the brushes are still in really good condition. And I'll, we already could see some text with the marking. As you can see, park there with a marker. Definitely from the war, from the soldiers. So, uh, and it's a very nice color. It came out of sort of weird. Um, as you can see, the hole right there, it's wesh, I think, very big one. It was inside, uh, inside of it, so maybe there's more. But uh, this was unexpected, but very welcome. I always wanted to find one of these. It's my first toothbrush. Yeah, now we have one, really nice. Especially the malted part. Makes it uh, yeah, unique. Yeah. Let's go. I didn't film it when we took everything out because it was raining, but we managed to find uh, a lot of glass, rations of course. We got two very nice things. It's um, this bottle, it's malted milk, uh, lunch tablets, pretty rare if I'm not mistaken. Uh, we, uh, you would have the big version and a smaller version. 
we found some thick uh, glass bottles, maybe uh, rum or alcohol, I don't know. Uh, a lot of rations and the best thing that came out was this and this is actually the top part of a US compass gonna clean it very carefully and uh, show you a picture here we have another glass but that's what's uh, yeah a surprise this is the, the part where you would close it the compass itself is missing only the cab is here so we're digging right over there got some small signals maybe uh, it's thrown away uh, over there, not sure, but we're gonna check it out. Thank you for joining us on this journey. If you enjoyed the uncovering of history, don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more adventures as we continue to explore the mysteries buried beneath the surface. This marks the end of our metal detecting trip. Until next time, this is After War Diggers signing off from the battlefield. <laughs>